case here dear the, students uh, three, one, two, three. welcome to the you knowledge have. series and uh, we, we want to get the max now seeing the type two so physics here the max value among this I is the hydrogen you have seen my so first as three class three vector uh, is defined with respect to type and then the max norm of the vector is calculated this is the continuation uh, student running this example if you uh, this point try to so see this figure like that uh, that t class three vector uh, is defined taken from the uh, and then we can get this max uh, value as per the figure Uh, this particular type two fuzzy set, if you see, Max this is the uh, edge uh, shaded area where in the machine you can try to see that uh, such as this is a neural network uh, extension of the type one fuzzy set, and call Max where the fuzzy set so this is very important. one is or a type one fuzzy set uh, was having a so single slope, whereas here the two slopes exist. This slope area or the shaded area speaks about the uncertainty. So, uh, oh, like that, oh, with respect that to this particular uh, uh, figure, we will, we will be now further we, we have to uh, having a matrix, uh, discussions. Matrix multiplication now, uh, and matrix in this figure, algebra. you can try so to see the matrix that matrix uh, matrix matrix dotted matrix area, arithmetic matrix, it is known as matrix multiplication, lower matrix membership functions, this dotted area. And uh, the uh, sharp edge, uh, or that is known as upper membership functions. Now, yeah, uh, matrix, uh, this is for the a one matrix, side. Uh, On the other side, the same matrix, thing. Can you can see uh, the lower membership area. Have to gone to this uh, one that is the uh, functions. That is area. Uh, that is Here we uh, shown uh, with uh, respect to the matrix, matrix is and the upper array. membership functions shown with the uh, sharp edge. With one so or in the both sides, upper membership function is having a sharp edge. And inside the dotted area, So uh, matrix double A, a line, we can say that it is a lower membership function. Like A11, A12. So, so both of which uh, uh, are uh, the type of the uh, uh, type uh, one fuzzy set. Three class two matrix you have taken. Uh, consequent, so uh, consequently, uh, the type one fuzzy set is basically this, uh, 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 is used uh, so as a mathematical tool to characterize the work of the type one fuzzy set. So five, uh, here, with so respect this, to uh, type two fuzzy set, this, we will be uh, uh, seeing matrix, matrix uh, uh, the certain activities with respect to. And the, how can perform uh, this matrix? No, before going to that one, let's see this one. Yeah. How the type two fuzzy set appears in the blurring, blurring type two fuzzy matrix, set. Matrix. When the blurring type two fuzzy set, say, assume that this so is a blurring area. So uh, when when a blurring occurs, it occurs from a one so point to the matrix, other point. A, a C matrix uh, to a so between so these two, element wise, uh, if you want to look here, for the uh, approximations of the sharp sharp edge, even if it is in the blurring, even if it is in the blurring, which up to which area we can able to predict. So that that is another way of determining the the answer. So here, and if, we if you try to see L1 and L2, so the central point is L. Here on the right side, R1 and, and R2, the central point is R. Uh, here, if you take the R, you can so see that one. Here it is written type 1 fuzzy set. So that is one thing you can able to know. So how can we have already discussed Uh, this particular surface, so, which are having the surface? same art. This surface is nothing but so, a footprint of uncertainty. Uh, a minus B we have and uh, done. Uh, this and, uh, 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 lower portions yeah, that is nothing but a so lower membership functions. Array. And this is nothing uh, but upper so membership the, uh, functions. One matrix A. So uh, the array. Uh, maybe so the array draw a, a line here two dimensional vertically. Matrix. It will so only one cut one three. edge. But when you draw a line here. It two will cut the three two points. So that is the lower membership function and the upper membership so function. That is what we mean to say. We have to enter it Now here, uh, another uh, uh, like a trapezoidal forms one and, and one, one triangular shape. So you can try to see. Can get, and uh, 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 if you take a central so point, it is also appear like a triangle. So uh, under this particular uh, surface, uh, if, you, if you take a, a, so here we if you draw a, a line the from this particular point, you can see in both the edges you will be so finding the uh, lower the membership functions and the upper membership row. function. If you draw a line like this from here to here, so, so you will be cutting here and here. Uh, and another uh, line if you draw here, it will be cutting here got, and here. Now so we'll get on, this on, uh, it will be having an equal intersect point for the upper membership function. 
and the lower membership and uh, how can this the helmer product now uh, very uh, important uh, here this uh, product to, is a uh, point wise uh, multiplication discussions so with the matrix a is there said, and you want to this put the product with the matrix uh, b uh, so how now here uh, uh, you know that the type to first set uh, matrix multiplication grades of membership multiplication is known as because the grades of the membership these are nothing but a grades of membership that has given to a third dimension and, uh, and that provide so a new design degree the same, of freedom uh, for the answer uh, library we can so call that is what uh, uh, it uh, uh, talks about no uh, if you refer to this particular uh, uh, membership like function, that, for the uh, each value of matrix. x for so each value of x you will be having a several uh, number of a membership function at the so number of intersect point wise multiplication so that's what it is being uh, uh, given uh, uh, here you know from so the above you can like try to see that one, two, l and r four, five, is nothing but this the area of the, of the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, footprint of the uncertainty uh, area. This is the footprint uh, of the uncertainty the area on the so left side uh, and the right side. And, uh, uh, and this uncertainty four, four may, may, six, may not be uh, unique. So it will not be easy. unique. So, far, so for each value of x, there are having so a, 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 a number of membership values. So here you are getting so mf1 if you are taking to the y plot. Uh, by the mf2 like that up to mfn you can try to uh, uh, view here so for each value of the membership uh, function you are uh, uh, you are representing its own weight so that is what for mf1 mf2 mf1 you are representing in terms of wx1 wx2 up to wx so that is what uh, uh, i mean to talk with respect to that uh, so this coding is very important these are basic but very important now uh, uh, here uh, it is meant to let us assign the weight for each so possible value of mf1 uh, so that's why Every and value of membership value, you will be having a weight value. So these weights are mm, what exactly is the, uh, these weights are the possibility the associated with the triangle mm, uh, for done. each value so of x. Matrix, so that's matrix, how you can able to get the individual value of x. And now for each value of x, what exactly happens? Uh, each value of x, the membership uh, 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 functions now of want the to secondary membership matrix, functions matrix is defined as mf uh, minus mfi of x, of matrix, uh, uh, comma as you wx know. of i. So, so that is how can uh, uh, that this mfi i is nothing but the membership functions related to the second uh, type two membership when, function and when this weight. Is so that is what when we define in terms of a First matrix column, MF equal to second uh, matrix row. I then of x. x. So that's then the, uh, if, if you are taking a single like membership function as MF, uh, and its variation is being determined with respect to weight, you can get the with the representations of the type 2 membership function. Consequently, the resulting type 2 membership function is a 3 dimension. That is what so we talk with respect to this particular representation. So, we'll now, uh, so let's see the uh, uh, slides. Some, uh, uh, no array when when you when we try to see the type 2 fuzzy set, uh, it is a fuzzy set which has the membership functions of a type 1 fuzzy set. So, type 2 fuzzy set is the same type 1 fuzzy set, and the same mathematical extension is being used for the type 2 fuzzy set. Now, when we talk about a M type or N type fuzzy set, in the M type fuzzy set, it is a fuzzy set which has a membership function of a type 1, but it is extended to a M type that is defined as M minus 1, comma M where M is greater than 1. So that is what we define in terms of a membership function. For M greater than 3, under the class of a type 1 membership function, to plot it on a figure, it, uh, first uh, matrix, it is a little is matrix, uh, cumbersome. This matrix so that is, is what I mean to say. Order, Up to type 2, you can able to see order. the third so dimension. Are getting row but on, column as, column I mean, you go to type 3 to seven, represent that particular thing, uh, so uh, it is a little seven, tedious. Seven, seven, seven we are getting, so each Membership and function uh, is a random variable and it is a combination of a fuzzy theory and probability theory. As we have seen in the fuzzy discussions about fuzzy theory and 
the prob is, probability theory that is the occurrence. My, my so the membership functions put, under the case of a so uh, uh, mo uh, more than one or more than uh, or uh, in the uh, type two or plus. So you find that it is a random variable uh, because so of the uncertainty can, uh, so in the variations. So, so under the type two, uh, uh, set, and you can are able to see that f c set uh, uh, a of a uh, universe of a discourse uh, two, x, two where you can try to see that it is defined class, as uh, x comma u. That is the first part. And yeah, the adding. second so part. The so that means it is with respect to the type uh, two so type of a fuzzy yeah, set we are this is also talking about. We have done so uh, uh, this x dot, comma u uh, um, dot uh, function uh, where and this dot uh, function we can call uh, and you comma can write and it's uh, uh, one. The same thing we can uh, write here and uh, x belongs to universe of discourse and u belongs to belong to j of x where j of x is nothing but the secondary part. Or the secondary domain of the so type two fuzzy set that is again a, a subset of the zero comma so one that is ranging between zero to one. So here, here so if, when you try to see about the x, like it the is the primary gender, domain, but that is a type one fuzzy uh, set, and u. It is and related to the type 2 fuzzy set. Can also do. So, so all the element of x, it is part of the, the x. And uh, all element of uh, u, again it is a part of a j, a secondary so domain, where x, uh, again it is a part of universe of discourse. So whether you take a type 1 or tube, type 2, it is going to be uh, under the, under the, uh, under the uh, set of the universe of discourse x. So that is what it is being defined. Now, uh, here, if you try to see uh, there x is a primary uh, domain, gx is a secondary class, domain, all the second way, mu a of a c, that is and, uh, x comma u, is that is a primary and domain and secondary uh, domain is coming together, that is, together. That is equal to 1. And now, this but here, point when we talk about a secondary two, domain, we do represent, uh, represent in terms of a g of x. Now, so fully characterized by the upper and the lower membership function. That is what here. If you try to see the lower part and upper part, if you take uh, uh, this is as a uh, lower and upper part, then in that case, x and u is coming. But if only one part is there, then you, you write, how you write x such that x belongs to capital X in a bracket or comma in a bracket. Zero, comma, zero comma one. And That's how we represent the membership function of so a first set one. But uh, since it is a type two, so we have to incorporate, and, uh, or, or, incorporate the second fuzzy that is x comma u comma one, such that x belongs to x and u comma belongs to j of x, where j x is a subset of the zero to one. So that is how we define this fuzzy set under the case. Of a type uh, two uh, interval. Uh, now uh, let's uh, so see some discussion right, with respect to so type one and type two fuzzy set for an easy understanding. Now type, uh, how we represent uh, the yeah, type one and type two fuzzy to set? If you, if you see the very first point, type one fuzzy uh, set, uh, it handle uh, the uh, handles uh, uncertainty uh, by uh, by using a precise membership matrix function that is the uh, uh, that was the actual uh, order, uh, uh, class three uh, this uh, is square matrix uh, what you call and, the uh, then uh, can setbacks that everybody was uh, trying so to point here, uh, out that uh, how the uh, fuzzy set uncertainty can be having a precise the, uh, membership uh, function so if you take a precise membership function, that means you are sure so that the there, is, uh, there is a certainty about the occurrence. So uncertainty you, you cannot be able to so handle uh, that particular thing, or you cannot be able to view. So here it is, uh, and uh, uh, more, uh, more uh, uh, type 1, uh, under the type 1, membership function is chosen, all uncertainty. Uh, uh, all uncertainty in such a way that it the uh, uncertainty so will be disappear so we are we are ignoring the uncertainty in that particular situation that's why we are taking a precise membership function that's why the sharp edge is having uh, no uncertainty rather we are having, uh, 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 we are considering it is not at all exit, and that's why it is disappeared, and thereby the membership function 
So the MF are totally element, precise. Matrix, now when you look matrix, across the type two membership function, it handles the uncertainty. This uh, is the diagonal the, matrix uh, uh, where the upper matrix is. In such a way that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, footprint of the uncertainty appears in this particular case. And uh, uh, this is used for zero modeling values. the uncertainty using in the type two membership functions. So based on the footprint of the uncertainty, they can it models the type two versus it. Uh, now next, you, 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 if you try to see the rule, are described by uh, antecedent and operator. consequence, so are all described uh, by the membership uh, 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 functions of a type AG. 1 first set. Operator. So this, this uh, um, uh, when you talk about uh, an, uh, antecedent uh, and uh, uh, so uh, consequent, you are talking about the two extreme. One is the minimum, another is the maximum uh, uh, variance. So, so that is what uh, we talk we with to respect to the type one. To now the under the uh, type two first matrix. set, the rules of the membership so here we can are described by the antecedent and consequent but uh, when you talk about an antecedent and a consequent in this particular uh, and, uh, print uh, M situation, matrix, when you, uh, when you com compare so in the first dag, type 2 fuzzy set, here you can able to clearly distinguish. So we are doing, uh, now type 1 uh, fuzzy set, it, it is characterized by the 2 dimension. It is having at only 2 dimension, type 1. Matrix Whereas type two fuzzy set, set, you can so try to see that you are, it is having a three D. dimensions. So you, uh, like uh, the output uh, we are getting the this figure uh, in so the here slides. One, two, three. These uh, are the diagonal so, elements. Uh, that is the and uh, 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 run the uh, first first uh, print the matrix and then vector of the main diagonal. So the main diagonal type one and only these two. The projection is known as the type two fuzzy set. Here it so is being drawn like this so that it will not be normally it is coming on the top of it. So but if, if I draw it here, matrix, it will be uh, not visible the that like that has been put across like that. And uh, now coming to the type uh, one uh, uh, fuzzy set, if you take a triangular membership function, a simple uh, type one fuzzy one set, we define it is having a so two things x comma mu x what is mu x x is a set mu x is nothing but a membership function so, so x comma mu x is that x belongs to capital x so or in zero comma one you can put it so but here three, what is so you can able to see that uh, here x is separately and uh, set how can inside uh, that uh, mf1 uh, mfi of x so and its from the so the new membership function and its identity weight. is the function uh, uh, such, uh, such the that numpy, uh, it is belongs uh, to one uh, to n so that is how uh, up to n uh, membership it functions you are selected as an identity matrix, so print identity matrix subset I, of a, we are uh, a universal matrix discourse of X. So, identity matrix so that is how this particular three, membership three, function three, is there. So, so here this, 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 part this part part remains same, can, but here uh, this particular this, mu of x is written in this form. Identity that is what you find membership function comma its weight. Similarly, what are the orthogonal set? Uh, application it is basically for a uh, just a facial recognition, air conditions, washing machines, camera, plus, uh, vacuum cleaners, braking systems, uh, uh, automatic transmission systems, knowledge based systems. All these things is using a type one fuzzy set. But when you talk about a type two fuzzy set, uh, its application is uh, uh, more deeper. So that's why it is used for the image processing, video processing, computer visions. Uh, uh, and uh, such type of uh, uh, areas this so is basically used both so the type uh, uh, type 2 fuzzy set is used well for uh, normalized uh, even normalized uh, the, uh, uh, the length of the vector failure one, uh, uh, systems occurs so how it has to analyze yeah, even in the robotic so systems uh, and uh, artificial the intelligence type 2 fuzzy set being used so that is these are the different classes with respect to the type 1 and type 2 fuzzy set these uh, things how can perform uh, this with respect to a orthogonal uh, matrix further is often noted by upper case we will discuss in the next class more right. about it so time being you can try to see this one uh, type 1 fuzzy set and the type 2 fuzzy set how it is represent in terms of functional representations and that's how the type 1 type 2 fuzzy set has been distinguished this so is here very I an see important uh, that uh, area that is defined almost by the many university question 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 question
in the uh, next uh, 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 discussion we will go with the so that is our co problem as well as its operation thank you. matrix so that is our coronal matrix we are getting